All right, so uh, I wanted to go over today something I learned uh, doing a lot of research on the internet uh, about like what proof or uh, evidence is there of like speed of light and whatnot because I think that that's, that's pretty interesting. Uh, I consider myself, you know, a little bit smarter than the average bear, so I like to know what, okay, well, if, if Einstein figured out what light was, then maybe, uh, you know, I could take that information and build on top of it. Uh, anyway, in my, my research, I, I came across this thing called the, uh, the double, double split experiment, and that's where you take a, a light source and uh, you, the, like, like scientists shoot photons at two uh, holes in a piece of paper and they, they see that on the other end there's a bunch of, uh, it's like a bunch of possibilities, like a whole bunch of uh, little parts of light, like a wave, they call it. What it basically means is that they're, they don't understand why light isn't shining through directly, why it looks like it's spreading out when it should be just, you know, two slits. So they were like, okay, let's see which which area of the slits that the the photons, the, that's what light is, it's photons, what they're going through. So once they start watching the slits, they see that, oh, now all of a sudden, now they're going through both slits like they're supposed to. They're showing two slits on the back wall. So instead of a wave of possibilities, now they're showing two slits. And I'm like, okay, well, that doesn't sound right. It doesn't make sense to me. And they say it could be the experiment itself could be done throughout the world. It could be replicated. It's it's a hundred percent fact, truth. So, I set up this little experiment to uh, show you. Well, initially to say that it wasn't possible, but I proved that it was, and so I'm just showing you how to do it at home yourself. So, uh, without further ado, I'm gonna show you my whole setup here and show you how you can do it at home too. Scientists that I read on these websites said you need to have a, you know, a, a tiny device that shoots individual photons to be able to monitor them. But uh, a flashlight shoots out a lot more than one photon, so I figure I'll get a lot more done with this. And we see we just rest it up on this little device here, and uh, just so it stays centered and shoots onto the back wall. This right here is going to be what we're going to use to uh, put the slits in, uh, and this is going to be what's going to capture the the image on the back wall. This can be any sort of a uh, paper. This is white paper, stiff. I'm gonna tape it up against the back wall there. And then this is uh, this is just some construction paper. Uh, we're gonna cut two slits into this. Um, and that's what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna show you how to cut some slits into this. All right, so let's go ahead and set this down. Get my scissors here. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you. I'll show you right here on the table. All right. Now I'm gonna cut two slits into this. I'll cut up into this a little bit here. All right. I'll make a nice little oval kind of elongated oval type shape. So good enough right through. And we'll cut it right into there. Cut it off right there. So then we have one slit. I'm gonna take that bottom part up. Alright, and then we'll cut the second slit up. Uh bring it up right here. Start cutting around. The slit should be pretty close since the light's gonna be right in the center of this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks. Uh, oh, jeez. Turn now. Get right on there. Okay. So now, when we uh, get these two slits like this, we'll go ahead and grab this tape here. Tape it on up. Let me just pass that between my legs there. It's hard to do holding the camera. But 
based on what I read, what a lot of, you know, there's been a lot of scientific labs setting this stuff up. Uh, they seem to spend a lot of money on it, but I'm just here to show you today, you can do this on a budget. You just need some tape, some scissors, and some paper, and a flashlight. That's really the basics what you need. Alright, so that... Oh, I'm going to take the bottom part too. Oh, never mind, that's too much work. Well, let's do this. Yeah, that should be good. I'll set this up here. About so. Mm -hmm. I gotta get this propped again something. One sec. Alright, so I got finished setting that up on a... I taped it to a box here and... Uh, turn the flashlight on so you can see what I mean. There's see, the light shines through here, goes through here, and then it makes two slits on the back wall. All right, so we got everything set up the way we want it with the camera going this way, pointing to the double slit, and then we'll see a uh, double slit on the wall here once we turn the uh, light, flashlight on. And there we go. You got two slits. Now there's two slits now because I'm looking at it. I'm turning these photons into particles by looking at this and now there are particles on the wall so they can only go through one slit and that's how the whole thing works. But the moment I turn around and I stop being part of this observable universe, that's going to turn into a wave, wave uh, function, I guess, the, a wave of possibilities. So watch this, flash. Oh. There you go. See, now it's a wave. Now, how do I know this? Well, because I, there's a way to trick trick the photons. See, the photons think they're smart. They're like, oh, he's not watching me. I can see his eyes. So I'm, I'm going to be a wave right now. But well, watch this when I grab a, a mirror. Take a mirror. You set this up. And you uh, hold it up. And see, I can see it now without uh, the photons knowing what I'm looking at. So I can see the wave. I can see all the ways and possibilities, all the all the different lines now. But if I go and look back at it, oh, it's back to two slits again. They went back into particles. Uh, now this is pretty advanced science stuff, but I just want to show you here today that you can do it at home. You can do it and prove it yourself. You don't have to go and ask some scientists, hey, how'd you do this? You have the power in your own hands. I'm trying to prove that to you today. Uh, and Hopefully y'all learned something from this. Hopefully you can try it at home and uh, let me know how your results turned out. But um, yeah, I'm looking to get a lot into a lot more science stuff like this because uh, I feel like there's this big gap between what we understand as people, how, how vast the universe is, and what the scientists understand, and they 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 act like we couldn't figure it out, but clearly we can, you know. So. Uh, I think I'm going to try and take more scientific discoveries and either prove them or disprove them because at this point, you know, who knows? Maybe their experiments are wrong and maybe I could do it better. Um, so if you've got any ideas uh, about maybe future experiments I could do uh, in the science world or whatever, uh, just let me know right in the comments below and I'll uh, respond to you. So uh, maybe I'll make a video. Uh, anyway, hope this was helpful. Have a splendid day. Thank you.